So this afternoon we're out at the farm and many a times I just come out here and I just, I literally sit on the ground and just love on the babies. Some days I just look across my farm at all the different animals that make different sounds, that look different. They're all different colors and they all get along. And it's just a reminder of how we should live. In today's world, the world is filled with so much hate, so much judgment, so much discrimination. And as I look upon my farm, the animals begin to teach me something else. My farm has taught me to believe in myself. With God on my side, there's absolutely nothing I can't accomplish. I wake up every morning refreshed and new and can't wait to get to the farm to see my animals and all that they teach me every day. As I began to perform to my audience, I'm in disbelief that that many people would want to come see me perform and see my farm. It is just amazing to be a part of God's work. It begins to bring me to gratefulness. I'm so grateful to all the people who have come to my farm to see what it's all about. And I pray that they leave there refreshed and new and learn that they were in the moment the entire time they walked through the gate of my farm. With the rush of this world, so many times we're always in a hurry and we don't begin to slow down and smell the roses. And when you come to the farm, you begin to notice the beauty that's all Where around. Where you might see a broken beak, I see an opportunity to teach teenagers to obey the law and the speed limit. Those laws are set in place for a reason. And although accidents do happen, it's our responsibility to take actions when those accidents do happen. The friendships that I've developed from having social media and having a farm has been just amazing. It's a friendship that'll last a lifetime. I used to say, why did he choose me? But now I've learned to say, why not me? And my attitude has totally changed because all my hard work is paying off. As I begin to look at this picture, I'm so in my element. An element that I never thought I would even want or desire. But God placed me right here for a reason. The wonderful thing about having my farm is it doesn't just bring me joy, but it brings others joy as well. And it's so wonderful to sit back and watch and to sit next to an older person that was raised on a farm and how that my farm brings her joy and brings her to memories of her past is wonderful and when teenagers come to my farm it is such a blessing i'm able to share with them how my desire was to dance on broadway but life took a change for me because i tried something different so i encourage them to try something different and you never know what's gonna happen. I'm able to share with teenagers the stress of being a teenager and trying to compare yourselves to others. I tell them that you're uniquely made by God and made in His image, and they're perfect in my eyes. And this sweet boy right here, he molded my life and changed my life. He made me realize that he didn't need to be around people that look like him, talk like him, nor act like him. He had friends in the farm. And I am able to use that example to others that come to my farm to know that in today's world, we don't have to agree with other people, but we can show kindness. We can show love, just like Leroy. They don't have to look like us, nor act like us. 
And it's hard to believe that I actually delivered Tatum River. Me, myself, and I, the confidence it gave me was just beautiful. And when I first got my farm, people were telling me that you can't train an animal. Bulls are mean. And I'm not saying that Dexter can't have a bad day because he can. But I'm showing you right here that if you take the time and the energy and the consistency with an animal, anything can happen. And it's the same thing with you. If you take the time and energy and consistency, you can mold yourself into being anybody that you want to be.